Hi everyone, Joe for Jaspies, Case Break, excuse me, dot com. I'm losing my voice here. 2022 Tops Cosmic Chrome Hobby Edition, 12 box, full case, random team break number one. All teams in, all card ship, a lot of nice stuff here. Autographs are few and far between, so there's a nice autograph hunt going on here. Also, Nick Jaspi said that the last six teams purchased in Chrome Random Team number one was eligible for a couple extra spots. You know who jumped all over it? Walter. Walter jumped all over it, which makes life easy for me because I don't have to do a randomizer. Boom. There you go, Walter. Thanks for taking advantage of that. Now let's gather the full list and randomize you a team. So let's put everyone's names in here. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Four and a three. Seven times for names and teams. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven, we got Edgar down to Michael. Four and a three, seven times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. Uh, after seven times, we got the Jet, the Mets, down to the Marlins. All right, Edgar with the Mets, Walter with the Braves, Chad Daw with the Blue Jays. Kyle, you got my Dodgers. Walter with the Yankees, Chad Cromwell with the Rockies and Angels. Mark with the Reds, Josh with the Brew Crew, Rick with the Mariners, Mark with the Astros, Rick T with the Cardinals, Walter, Guardians, Orioles, Steven with the Royals, Ed with the Rays, Matthew with the Padres, Walter with the Twins, Chad with the Pirates, uh, Chad Cromwell with the Pirates, Walter, Rangers and Phillies, Kyle with the A's, Ed with the Red Sox, Walter with the Diamondbacks, Barry with the Tigers, Michael with the Nets, Tanya with the Cubs, Chad Cromwell with the White Sox, Josh Yost with the Giants, and Michael with the Marlins. Let's sort that by column B. And we're going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades. And then we'll have the break. We'll see you on the other side. Hi, welcome back, everybody. A ton of trade chatter, most, most than I've seen in a long time. But in the end, no deals got done. But I feel like there's going to be a lot of tried to trade, couldn't trade mojo happening here. I mean, Walter pretty much had all his teams up for trade. Pirates were up for trade. Blah, 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 blah. So. so let's see what's going to happen here. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. Appreciate it. Settle in. It's going to be about an hour. We, there will be an autograph and low numbered card recap at the end. So if you're re watching this video, you can skip ahead towards the end of the video for that. Or if I forget, it'll be in a separate video. I don't think I'll forget. I shouldn't forget. I hope I don't forget. I think it's just a straight start finish break, right? There's nothing else to do at the end of this break? No. Some good stuff. We got some pick your teams in the store. Check it out. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Let's see what we got. We've got a, a customer of ours who has a uh, who apparently just got a uh, a Tesla, so the SUV one. Whatever that, whatever that model is. Um, and he got some stuff from our shop. He was ripping some stuff in the car. And then uh, his car wouldn't start, so he had to, he had to call like the Tesla Technic customer service, get a guy out here. They're talking in the parking lot out there. Tough times, car trouble, never fun. Does Aaron Judge sign in this? I don't know. Uh, let's take a quick look at group break. No, Tanner saying yes. Judge has on. Okay, thank you. Is Seiya Suzuki any good? Yeah, I think he some injuries kind of uh, kind of hurt his season a little bit last year. 
I mean, he's not like he's not going to be like an Otani. He's supposed to be a pretty solid player from overseas, from Japan. Yeah, no, not many like Shohei. That's the thing with the, like the, the the hitters from like Japan or Korea. It's like there's been some solid pitchers that have come from over uh, over from Asia, but the hitters you got you got like Ichiro, you got Otani. You know, maybe G Man Choi can hit the ball a bit, but it's always hard to tell which uh, whose skills are gonna are gonna translate to uh to major league baseball now remember oh nice first off here's a julio rodriguez parallel that's going to be for rick rick serrano has the mariners got randomized the mariners for the full case i think this is like a ne nebulous nebula i forget the names of all there's too many names to keep track of Wait for it. And these are one every like 15 packs. Nucleus. Not Nebby. Nucleus. One out of every 15. Almost one per box. But we haven't seen a Julio parallel like that yet. Now, autograph. I was about to say autographs are few and far between. There's only about four per case. One every few boxes. Hey, Siri. 32 out of 99 for the Astros. That's going to be for Mark. So keep that in mind, which ideally should give a little extra boost in value to the autos because they're not so common, right? Supply demand, you would think, you would hope. Obviously, it depends on the player. All card ship. There's Matt Manning, 33 out of 50 for the Tigers. There's Otani. Base Julio goes to Rick and the Mariners, Rick Serrano. Matt Manning for Barry and the Tigers. There he is. You're welcome, Rick. And a Bobby Wood Jr. rookie card refractor. That's pretty nice. Rookie refractor. Kansas City. Here we come. Steven with the Royals. I'm going to Kansas City, Kansas City, here I come. Yeah, yeah. All right, next box. Now, remember, ladies and gentlemen, we're only box two of 12. This is going to be about an hour-long break. Um, Jason Jaspi, though, is live on Instagram right now. I don't know... What he's got going on over there, but he's live on Instagram right now, at Jaspi's Breaks. So if you want to grab a box for yourself, a personal box for yourself while you're waiting for this break to wrap up, um, definitely pop over there and say hi. Or feel free to hang out here and watch what we pull out of here. Now, we've been pulling some out of fives, which is awesome. But we have not seen... A super fractor yet? Uh, a super fractor. I'm looking at the base set checklist. Super, just a base super fractor. One out of every 1,791 packs. Someone do the math. There are 20 packs per box. 12 cases, 12 boxes per case. So what is that? If the super factor is one out of every 1,791 packs. I can't math today. Where's Chad? Chad Daw. Chad Daw is a numbers guy. I don't know if he's listening right now, but. There he is. Thank you, Chad Daw. One in every 7.2 cases. We have not done seven cases yet. Although between us and Instagram, we might have done seven cases. 
So we're due, I guess. Either here or on the personal breaks channel. We're due. Oh, Insa did pull a super. Oh, okay. Well, then, then we're doing another seven cases, 7.2 cases. All right. Oh, nice. Julio Rodriguez die cut. Launched into orbit to the moon. I don't know what those die cuts have been going for, but they look pretty cool. There's Aaron Nola, uh, Blue Moon, 82 out of 99. And a Marcus Simeon, that's out of 10. That's a Black Eclipse. Total Eclipse of the Heart. Turn around every now and then. It goes to the Rangers, Walter. Turn around every now and then I feel a little bit more when I never turn around. Another Julio base, no trouble. All right, another box down, another box to go. So we got base refractors. These are the from the base checklist. Here are the ref, your parallels. Base refractor, one out of every 10 packs, a little more common. Nucleus, one out of every 15. Blue moon to 99, one out of every 19. Gold interstellar, number to 50, one out of every 37. Orange galactic, 25, that's one out of every 73 packs. That Black Eclipse, uh, Marcus Simeon, which went to Walter and the Rangers, one out of every 182 packs. Red Flare to five, one out of every 363 packs. And like I said, the Base Super, one out of every 1,179 packs. A, in case you're wondering about autographs, a Super Fractor Auto, a Cosmic Chrome Super Fractor Auto 1 of 1 is 1 out of every 8,684 packs. All right, another box. Bobby Witt Jr. Uh, for Steven and the Royals. Oh, that's seven out of 10. Nice launched into orbit, Pete Alonzo, Edgar with the Mets. It's 
It's a pretty cool die cut. I know he's a, he's a Phillies fan. He was saying, he's like, I can't have the Mets. But a nice, nice low number die cut nonetheless. And he launched into orbit Wander Franco. Rays. That's Ed in the Rays. Nice. Blue Moon Nicoladolo, 10 out of 99. And that will be for Mark and the Red Legs. Right. Another box. We got in here. Look at that. A Bobby Witt Jr. on card autograph. Stephen Carney, Kansas City Royals. That's pretty nice. Real nice. Hit Parade Basketball filled up? Nice. I see that. Yeah, that filler sold out. So we'll get that on the we'll get that show on the road. And that might be we might be able to squeeze in another quick break before uh, before we call it a night. More that could be a nice way to end the night. We'll find out. We'll, I'll get that once I'm done with this break. We'll get that locked in on the schedule. There's Patrick Corbin, 20 out of 25, orange, what do they call it? Galactic? Orange Galactic. That'll be for Michael and the Nationals. Michael Gluch and the Nats. And Blue Moon, Josiah Gray for Michael, 48 out of 99. All 
right. Nice box, Bobby Wood Jr. in there. Rex looked it up, said no Bobby Wood Jr. autographs currently on eBay. Interesting. If that's one of the first on the market, that could be nice. Any in the sold item section, Rex? Maybe maybe someone had a had to buy it now and sold it. Didn't find one in the completed. All right. Well, if that's one of the first on the market by the time Steven gets this, that's going to be pretty nice. Okay. What day say? Thursday? Oh, I wonder if, I wonder how, I don't know. Check the shipping tab on our break schedule page for um, for the uh, shipping statuses, but it's like there might be an outside chance this could go out in the next couple days. Torkelson. Oh, there's an out of 25 for sale. What's that going, what's, what's the asking price on that? Another base Bobby Witt Jr., another base Torkelson, Royals, Steven, Tigers, Barry. And a Wander. So they're asking twelve fifty for an out of twenty five. Wow. Ooh. An Aaron Judge Supernova insert Super Fractor, a Super Super. Woo! Walter and the Yankees. We were talking Supers earlier. A Super Super for your current. Just announced today, Thursday, November 17th, 2022. Just announced as the AL MVP. Walter, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! A super super. Fifty one out of ninety nine Royce Lewis. All right. Another box. What's that super super going to go for? Play a little game of what's it worth? What's it worth?
I wonder how much of the MVP award, how much of that actually gives him a boost in value or has that already been priced in because everyone just assumed that he's going to win the MVP anyway. My guess is that it's been priced in already. Any other cosmic super supers out for sale out there in the in, in the secondary market in the eBay land? All right, Edgar agrees. He says, I think it's been priced in since the home run record. Yeah, I would think so too. I'm not sure if just today's announcement seemed more like a formality, so but still, his the, the his value has been since the beginning of the season, the MLB season, it's been rising every week, every month. Rick, we still got a little over half a case to go. This could this case could be the stuff that legends are made of. Gold, Jackson Coar to 50. Chris Sale, Blue Moon, 90 out of 99 for Ed and the Red Sox. Mike Trout die cut. Base Julio. All those will add up too. Maybe even worth grading. No, no, no one, no one has seen any super supers. Just maybe a cosmic super fracture in general. Is any of any of that on eBay? Anyone want to venture a guess on what that super, super price is going to be? Here's a uh, refractor, Spencer Torkelson, rookie card for Barry and the Detroit Tigers. Nice. All right. Second half. Or maybe any out of fives of Aaron Judge from Cosmic. I want to try to see if we can triangulate. A Javier Bias sold, but they took the offer. Um, go, to Edgar. Go to one thirty point one three zero p o i n t. One. I'll actually. I'll drop the link in the chat. This site will actually show you what the. Uh, what the buy it now price was, but a Javier Baez super, they were asking seventeen hundred. Now that site should tell you what that accepted price was. A J Rod nucleus listed at two and a half. Maybe five on the judge. Hmm. Aha, so Edgar, thank you. 
Looked it up. Nine. They, they accepted 900 for... Now, was it a super supernova? Or was it just a regular base super? And how common are these supernova parallels? Have we seen a lot of these? Wow, they're not too they're not super common. So the Javier Baez was a super supernova. Asking 17 got nine. The a base Miggy one of one sold for 476. If you want to start trying to triangulate prices. Supernova set for what it's worth. Um, there are 20 cards in the set, 100 copies per card. That super fractor, one out of every 1,791 packs. Ooh, and a Torkelson. So we got a Blue Moon Jesus Lazardo and a Spencer Torkelson. We got the Bobby Witt Jr. We got the Spencer Torkelson rookie auto. Are we going to get a Wander? Are we going to get a Julio Rodriguez? Probably. Barry with the Tigers. There you go, Barry. And the Lazardo Blue Moon goes to the fish. That'll be for Michael Gallucci. And there's Miggy right there, 50 out of 50. Well, if the Baez went for nine and they were asking 17, I mean, Aaron Judge, there's got to be way more than that. Maybe, I, I, maybe Rick was right. Maybe 5,000. Maybe you're asking 5,000 on that. Maybe more. Walter, I, I don't know what your plans are for that card. Definitely, uh, if you if you want if you want um, if you want insurance on this, definitely let's uh, hit up hit us up on support and let us know. A one of one Torkelson is going for fifteen. Yeah, Rick's thinking it's a it's an inaugural set. He's the MVP, set a home run record in the AL. Got to be some kind of premium on that. I think the debut set part really helps too, and not a common, uh, and not a common insert. You know, it's more, it's a more short printed insert. Uh, this might be this. I, I may be shooting the moon. This I might be overstating this, but I would just if you're selling it, I would just set it at. I would do a buy it now of ten thousand dollars. And just see what kind of offers you get. Yeah, so Edgar is thinking maybe four and a half, sixty five hundred. Yeah, so maybe you you ask ten. You ask ten and then you settle for like sixty five hundred. It's not bad settling, I think. I wonder, see, now, now I'm also thinking, is it a hold? Hey, no worries, Walter. I appreciate you putting in all the work in these group breaks. I wonder. Do you hold it or is now the best time to get it? You see what the, everyone, did everyone see what happened with the Aaron Judge baseball? The, uh, 
So there was a great story on The Athletic or ESPN or something like that about the, the Aaron Judge baseball. The guy that caught it was negotiated with, not negotiated, but was made an offer by Yankees head of security, I think. Offered him memorabilia, offered him stuff, and blah, blah, blah. He politely declined. And then, um, and then asked Houston Stadium security to escort him out of the park, which they did. They got him in a golf cart, swept him around. Got to his car. Apparently, I don't know who did this. Maybe, maybe a person that maybe is not his friend, but had uh, released his home address on social media. Apparently, and so he couldn't go back to his house. So he stayed at a friend's house for a couple nights. It's five out of twenty-five. Tony Santian until he was able to, you know, feel like he was he was safe. Reds. That's going to be for Mark. And then I think. Um, he was made and he turned down an offer of $3 million. I don't know if that was directly from Aaron Judge or from another class. I forget. So you'll have to look up. So I'm just summarizing the story here. But eventually, basically, he's putting it on golden auctions. So that, that baseball will be on golden auctions. Fully authenticated and everything. They did that right after he caught it and was whisked away, you know, by, by security. They checked the baseball, which was the special judge baseballs. And then they put another sticker on it. So, yeah, so it's fully authenticated and everything. Walter thinks, Walt thinks maybe turning down the three was rough. Maybe it goes, I think it goes for less on Golden, yeah. No, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll find out. I'm sure it'll hit the news again once it hits the site. 61 out of 99, Mitch Hanniger. I want to say the article made it seem like they thought they were going to be able to get five to six million on that, based off of, um, based off of, uh, you know, the the market size, what he accomplished, the fan base, the rabid fan base. So that got me thinking. Like Edgar was asking, do you sell now or right before next season, or, you know, so. That got me thinking, maybe you do sell it now. Or try to sell it now. Because Yeah, like just like that just like they said about the baseball. Aaron Judge, really popular really popular uh, player. Right? Really big moment. Christmas season coming up. People looking for people always looking for unique Christmas gifts. Especially people with deep pockets. That baseball is gonna be a nice Christmas gift for I don't think it's gonna hit auction at Christmas. So the other thing is you know you know the other thing. Does Aaron Judge if Aaron Judge re signs with the Yankees in the next month, right? Like leading up to Christmas, then I think you sell. I think people, I think Yankees fans would be so happy. If not, then I probably wouldn't sell. I would actually wait, maybe till the end of his career or something like that. You would just put it in a safety deposit box and forget about it for a while. Yeah, then there's the question of grading. Do you grade a one of one? Some people say no. I. I don't know. You'll have to take a look at the card just at a glance if we're nitpicking. I mean, corners and edges, and I don't know about surface, but corners and edges seem pretty sharp on all of these cards. Centerings are always a little, always a little wonky sometimes. You can, I'm not sure you can, if you can tell by the picture from that distance, but but sometimes people make the argument, hey, you, you would just, you're you're. Getting a great, you're you're grading the one of one less for the grade, but more for the encasing for the protection of the card.
But, the, you know, there's only 20 cards in this set. I wonder if there's someone out there who, who has committed to making a... Uh... Ooh. Ooh. We got a... Uh, Griffin Jacks. One out of five. Red Flare. What a case. Twins. That's going to be for Watts. That's Walter. With the Twins and... All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! This probably covers the uh, the insurance cost for that Aaron Judge. Maybe more. And an orange Jose Abreu, an autograph in the box too. White Sox. That's Chad Cromwell. Eight out of twenty-five. Got a Glaber Day, Blue Moon, 60 out of 99. You saw me standing alone without a dream in my... Do they call them Blue Moons? Am I just making that up? No, Blue Moons are to 99. Without a love of my own. Two weeks later. Blue Moon, C.J. Abrams. You saw me standing alone. That is for Matthew and the Padres. Right, the risk is him not re-signing and then people losing interest. Which is what you're seeing an issue you're having with a one-of-one one Soto autograph that you have right now. Yeah, that's a tricky thing. The ideal situation, the ideal situation will be, uh, will be him re-signing with the Yankees. I mean, listen, this is all nitpicking. I'm, it's still going to sell well on the secondary market. It's going to cover the price of the spot and then some, <laughs> right? So we're going to be fine. But all that... All that uh, being said, yeah. Uh, Lance McCullers Jr., by the way, going to the Astros mark. All right, final three boxes. But yeah, that's kind of the things you start thinking about. But yeah, ideally, you would want him to re-sign with the Yankees. Or another popular team with a big market. Edgar, what do you think? What, do you, what if he signs with the Mets? New York, it's a giant city, right? You think, uh, but if he stays in New York, there are probably some casual New Yorkers. There's probably a lot more than you think. Probably a lot of casual New Yorkers who just like Aaron Judge, not necessarily the Yankees. Uh, yes. Mets just customer service now, so they'll get to it tomorrow. Sooner the better, because um, they're off on Saturdays and Sundays.
You saw a story, Rex saw a story on MLBTradeRumors.com saying that the Mets owner will not be on the judge bidding as long as the Yankees are in on the bidding because they're friends? But That's 55 out of 99 Joey Votto, Blue Moon. That, that sounds crazy. But if the Yankees bow out, they'll be in on it? Oh, what, and what if they bow back in, Rex? Too much mutual respect. Mm -hmm. You're in a competitive world of Major League Baseball. I mean... I, I I go to the I go back to to everything I learned in business, which is from The Godfather one and two. It's not personal; it's business. I'd get I'd go and get Aaron Judge, and I'd call up Hal and be like, "It's not personal; it's business." If I'm a Mets fan, I, I'm 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 losing my mind right now. Seven spots only tonight. If it says only tonight, then it's only tonight. Which breaker are you talking about? I mean, we may be at the end of our end of the line anyway. I don't see any break where it says seven spots are being given away in something. All right. Oh, the Sterling. Uh, to sell the break entirely, no. Just the filler. Unless it says otherwise, read the description. But that tonight only will only apply to that particular pack, unless specif unless uh, stated otherwise. Although. We have time to do that break if that filler and then the five, those five spots fell out. Actually, no, we've got that. Well, if that fills, I'll do it, but... Well, but that that would make it the last break of the night. We still got that uh, that hit parade that we have to do, which is about a 20, 30 minute break. I think we're a little ahead on schedule on this break, so that's good news. Well, it depends on what you got it. Depends on what you what what degree you got it, Harvard, Chad. I depend. It's understandable. Right, so just that pack would have to fill tonight. We'll give away those seven spots. And then those five other full spots, those five other full spots, uh, economics. Yeah, that's not going to help. This is more like... Uh, this is more like having to have more of a legal degree. So it's like trying to read a, read a parking sign. Have you ever tried to read a parking sign where it says, you can park between 3 to 5 a.m. unless you have a permit only Monday through Friday. It's more along the lines of that. So 
It's like, so can I park here or not? <laughs> when can I park here? When do I need a pass? But free between 8 and 11, unless it's street cleaning on Tuesdays from 11 to 1. There's out of 75, uh, out of 25, Wilson Contreras. Oh, there you go, Rex. Had a holiday store walk with your boss's boss today. And they said this, really happy with your grocery department. Nice, Rex. Now, did you also hit him up for some more money? And you're like, all right. Nice. I appreciate that, but a little more money. I got to buy more breaks at jazpiececasebreaks.com. <laughs> yeah, Chad, I can't figure out the economy either. What's going on? It's the is. Are, are we, are we going to get over 4,100 on the S&P? Or is there going to be a recession in the next two quarters? We're looking at 3,200 on the S&P by getting to Q2. Who knows? I don't know. <laughs> uh, what's FTX's bankruptcy going to do for the economy? How much money is tied up in all these cryptos? How many hedge funds? How many financial institutions have got money locked away in here? When are we going to unpack all this? Who knows? Are we being too hawkish or too dovish? What's the Fed doing? Don't know. <laughs> Buy bonds now? Buy bonds later? I don't know. Is this a supply chain issue fixed or not? Don't know. Who knows? Who knows what's going on? You know? Oh, that's right. You're in the union. Well, you go talk to your union person, Rex. Those unions. I feel like it's just those union guys dragging their feet. Probably shaving money off the top. They probably invested all your pensions in crypto and they're freaking out. There you go. Walter providing some, uh, this is not financial advice, ladies and gentlemen, but yeah, it is a house of cards in crypto. Buy three, nine months, treasuries, wait for a couple more hikes, buy the 10 year. I just say, as, a, as an investor, not a trader, <laughs> I would just say, just, just do what Warren Buffett says, buy into some S&P 500 index, set it and forget it. Especially if you're if you have a longer time horizon, and then 20 years later it'll be like, great, we're at 5,000. <laughs> Wasn't the early 2020s crazy? It's so maybe 6,000 in 20 years. Right, Chad? Yeah, Brady has a tough year. Wife, crypto, buy, hold, break. Man. You know what's more fun than the uh, than the market? It's investing in trading cards. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. ABC, always be closing. Thanks, everybody. Last box. Thanks for hanging with me. Appreciate everybody getting into the fun. Thanks for being part of the thrill of the chase. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's bad, but hopefully all times we're having at least a little bit of fun. That's all, that's all we can ask for. At least, even if you have a, a not so good break, at least we, at least we, oh, look at this. That's a case at Youth Invasion die cut. CJ Abrams, rookie, Padres, Matthew. Hopefully you're having a little bit, at least a, we're providing you at least a little bit of entertainment. That's for Matthew. And from Matthew to Matthew Chapman. Matt Chapman going to the Blue Jays.
Chad Daw with the Bluebirds. On the board at the end. Last box. That die cut was cool too, Matthew D. And Padres. B Snip, what's up? How are you? Sold all your stock back in late November 2021. Put in money market funds. I had a crystal ball. I did see Bezos uh, giving away the majority of his fortune before he dies. <laughs> Chad saying he doesn't have. Stock keeps falling. Doesn't have to worry about giving away. He won't have it. I'm sure there's some. I'm, there's, I'm sure there's some nice tax benefits for him doing that, Rex. They all make it seem like it's philanthropy, and, and it is. And it is. There's Yachty, but Rick T with the out of ten Yachty. I mean, you know. And Brian De La Cruz. Blue Moon, 6 out of 99. For the Marlins, that's going to be for Michael, Bobby Witt Jr., base going to Steven and the Royals. And a recap. Big thanks to everybody here. Really nice break. I mean, hold on. Let's start over. Really nice break. Out of 10, Matt Chapman. The die cut, C.J. Abrams, rookie die cut, case hit, right? Abreu, orange, Griffin Jacks, red, out of five. Torkelson, refractor, autograph. Torkelson, refractor. Bobby Witt Jr. on card. Wander Franco, die cut. We got the out of 10, launch into orbit, Pete Alonzo. Out of 10, Simeon. Launch into orbit, Julio. Bobby Witt Jr., refractor. Julio Rodriguez. Right and the uh, which is the what interstellar or intergalactic, the nucleus, parallel and the super super, super super nova. Man, there you go, gang. I'm Joe for JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Thank you very much for watching, breaking with us. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye bye.